There has been a flare up in the Taiwan Strait. Two people have died. China has issued a strong message. What happens next is anybody's guess. The story begins on Wednesday, the 14th of February. A Chinese speedboat, we are being told, entered Taiwanese waters. There were four men on board the boat. They were reportedly fishermen. The boat entered the prohibited waters near Kinmen's bathing islet. It is home to a military post. The boat got very close to this islet. What happened next? The minute-to-minute -minute details aren't clear, but we are being told that at one point, Taiwanese Coast Guard demanded that they inspect the boat. The fishermen on board did not agree, and this resulted in a chase. The Chinese boat capsized. All the four men fell into the water. Only two survived. Now, here's what the Taiwanese Coast Guard has to say. Listen in. As the speedboat was sneaking, trying to evade inspection and even drifting, the speedboat capsized and the four people on board fell into the sea. Then our patrol boat immediately launched a search and rescue, rescuing four mainland fishermen, two of whom survived and are currently undergoing questioning by the Coast Guard. The other two were rushed to the Kinmen Hospital for emergency treatment and were declared dead after first aid was unsuccessful. The Taiwanese Coast Guard has released footage. It shows a person recovering one of the bodies. Now let's just look at where all of this was happening. Near Kinmen. Here's a map. Kinmen is just three kilometers from the Chinese coast. In other words, it's on the front line of tensions. And now you have a flare up right here. You have two deaths. What happens next? China has called the incident wicked. Quite an interesting choice of word there. The Taiwan Affairs Office in China claiming that Taipei has been treating Chinese fishermen in a manner that is quote-unquote rough and dangerous. Then why are these so-called fishermen entering prohibited waters? Taiwan claims its Coast Guard was abiding by the law and it was the Chinese crew that refused to cooperate. Earlier this week, Taiwan's defense ministry said that it detected 14 Chinese warplanes around Taiwan. What exactly were they doing there? Carrying out joint patrols with Chinese warships. There were J-16 fighters, drones. Nine of the 14 aircraft crossed the Taiwan Strait's median line. Once upon a time, this line used to be the unofficial border between the two sides. But now, Chinese planes regularly fly over the median line. Just a quick reminder here that China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province, with the Chinese President Xi Jinping claiming that the mainland's reunification with Taiwan is inevitable. In fact, as recently as the 31st of January 2023, Xi Jinping said Taiwan and China will quote-unquote surely be reunified. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.